So now during you just brought up that rare that rare condition, rhabdo, that they call for short. They call it for short. Um which your which you go through during that twenty twenty summer. Can you talk about that condition and what is it and why does it why does it happen? How rare is it? Um Google be saying is Google said it was rare. Um um, and it's even old, super rare to have it twice. So I had. What it. is it like? What 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 is it? Why does it happen? What is it can it happen like? from, like, explosive exercises or like lifting too much weights, and you basically, um, you start releasing something from your muscles that's harmful to your kidneys. Um, also, your 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 muscle breaks down and um. Um, yeah, you gotta like, like it releases stuff that you gotta release to your body, like piss out. And, um, it basically breaks down your muscles. It could leave you like, like the worst case condition, it can leave you like paralyzed, like not paralyzed, but like in a wheelchair type mm. shit. Like, um, if you don't like deal with it early, like it can leave you in a wheelchair. So... It was like that. That one one time, it was the first time it happened to me. It was me exercising and Planet Fitness. I did. I overworked. I was doing like some jumping squats, but I OD like did too much sets with some other guy. And then um, I had it on one leg. And then I went to the. I went to. Um, I went to. Oh, the ER because they had to flush out my system so it doesn't hurt my or damage my kidneys. And then. Um, um, after I got out the ER, I think that whole summer I didn't play ball like that, uh, cause like um, I was just chilling, make sure I get back right. And then after school started, that's when I got back on it, and then uh, it wasn't too much of a difference. I noticed a little difference in athleticism, but it wasn't too much. And um, and plus this wasn't my jumper leg mm -hmm. anyway, so um, yeah. And after that, but that the second time was in 2020. I was in Harlem on 55th near the polo grounds, you know, there's the stairs. Mm -hmm. I tried to, I was running it, and after I finished my third set, like, my legs was hella wobbly, and I had to walk from there to, I had to walk from there to, what's it called? Um, I think 170, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was like, that whole time I was like, like a damn kid, like, I was like hella wobbly, I'm like, what's going on? And I'm like, bro, I recognize these symptoms. Like I went home, I told it was a pandemic though, so it was like yeah. I told my mom, yo, buy hella water, cause I remember they was talking about drink water to flush out your system or whatever. And um, the water wasn't enough, cause I was drinking it too fast anyway. And so once the third day, I was like yeah, my I think I think I need to go to the ER. <laughs> mm. And cause like I had to like I couldn't bend both my legs, like it was like it was like this basically. Like, not all the way straight. I couldn't straighten out both. Like, one of them couldn't straighten past here, but one of them could go a little farther. So, it was like, when I get out of bed, it's like this. Like, these feet. Your legs is constantly at a 90 degree angle. Basically. Yeah, and you can't bend it. Like, it's literally impo almost impossible. You can't, like, uh, you can't bend it. Like, it stops somewhere. Like, bring your heel to your butt. Yeah, you can't bring your heel to your butt. You can't, you can't go past this 90 degree an angle. It's like, oh, something God. stops it. And it's like, it's almost like, when you lift a lot, like regular, it's called DOMS. DOMS is when you go to the gym and like tear muscles and this is a natural thing that happens and you get stronger. Mm -hmm. But this one was like, I can't go past like, you know how like when you lift and then you feel a soreness, but you could still like go like this and be yeah. like, yeah, stretch it out a little bit. Yeah. But it hurts a little bit. But this one was like a, such a serious thing where it was like, I can't s straighten it out at all. Mm -hmm. Like something literally stopping it. So that's how it was. And then um, I went to the ER gave me um there's not much research done on this condition that's why yeah there, there's not much research done on that I can't find shit for it for real mm. um but a lot of doctors don't even know what the hell to do when it yeah when it comes across the table yeah and um what's it called uh but the main thing the ER does is they just they just want to protect your kidney once mm. they do that they just like you're free to go like yeah they, they didn't really tell me a rab though they're just like they didn't tell me, hey, you wouldn't, you, your, your strength in your legs are gonna like dwindle a lot. Da, da, da. They didn't say anything like that. Just they protect your kidneys, make sure you don't 
the the poisonous shit that gets released doesn't like affect your health mm -hmm. and they're like you're good because in, the, in their mind is more like we like we're saving you it's more yeah. about it's not about comp compete they don't even know i'm an athlete they yeah. saw him tall but they probably wouldn't even know i'm an athlete so it's like more like we saved you or we took care of you so <clears throat> yeah that that was one thing i was uh that was kind of annoying because you really can't find shit i'll be going everywhere i'm like yo what is rhabdo what is what are treatments what's holistic ways i'm gonna try a holistic thing going on just but just to try it but let's see how that go i follow i follow man